You know, if we do get a Zelda 35th anniversary this month, it's gonna be a breath of fresh air. We can finally have some good old Nintendo news to talk about instead of rumors and leaks. It'll be a nice change of pace. Oh, and of course, then we have E3 2021 and all the craziness that involves that. Hey guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to the RoboChan Show, where we cover the latest gaming news, leaks, and rumors from Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo in 2020 and beyond. If you want to be kept up on the latest gaming news, make sure you click that red subscribe button below this video and that notification bell so you know when I upload. And if you're interested, I have a Patreon, which link to that will be in the pinned comment along with my Twitter account. In this video, we're going to talk about some more tweets from the fast and uprising Nintendo leaker who has some interesting things to say about Zelda's 35th anniversary and when exactly we can see this anniversary. We also have a second topic today that really excites me as someone who's always thought a lot of these Nintendo properties would work wonders in a movie or television show. If you guys enjoyed this video on any level, make sure you leave a like, it helps the video a lot and helps YouTube push the video. And if you want to help me pass the 500 mark of followers on Twitter, follow me at RoboRob93. And without Without further delay, let's get on to the video. So Zelda's 35th anniversary is something that we have talked about a lot on this channel, and judging by the comments, likes, and overall reaction by you guys, a lot of you guys want to see these older Zelda games come to the Nintendo Switch. Classic Zelda games like The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and other cool Zelda games. And with many signs pointing to these games, which we've covered here on the channel, it's no wonder that a lot of fans are excited for a possible Zelda 35th anniversary, more so after Skyward Sword was officially announced. But the one question on our mind aside from what games could be shown at a Zelda 35th anniversary is when could the games be shown? And it seems that Samus Hunter 2 has some insight on when that could be. Now Hunter has previously gave us hints that a Zelda 35th anniversary could be before E3 2021, which I did a video on about a week ago and the new info that they're giving out on this has expanded on it. It's giving us a more defined date rather than just saying before E3 2021, which a video on that will be in description below if you're curious on the previous video I did on this. Now for those who want to scope out Samus Hunter and check out how credible this Nintendo leaker is, they have a pinned comment on their Twitter account. This tweet has a lot of Nintendo leaks that have become correct, so if you want to check out those for yourself after the video, I'll leave a link pinned in the comment section for Samus Hunter's Twitter account. With that being said, this is what Samus Hunter has to say. Starting this month, we are going to see more news on the Zelda series. It's likely to be an appetizer before the main course at E3, but we are entering the Zelda 35th anniversary. Now if we go down into the subtweet, we have some more information on when exactly this month it could be. A Twitter account called Swifter asked, are we talking later into the month or like within one to two weeks? Do you have a range or exact dates? And this is what Samus Hunter says. Yes, an announcement in the first half is a real possibility. Third week of May at maximum, I would say. So to recap these tweets, according to Samus Hunter, Nintendo will be kicking off the Zelda 35th anniversary and it should be around May 4th to May 17th. Now, if nothing happens Zelda-wise in this month by the 17th, I'd give it a couple of days because this month didn't start on a Monday. Now, if you don't want to hear any speculation, click the top right corner of this video and you will be taken to more Zelda 35th anniversary content and even how the Mario 35th anniversary games could lead to older games coming back, which we are actually already seeing with Skyward Sword. And if not, let's continue. So if you have been subbed to this channel for any amount of time during my coverage of the Zelda 35th anniversary, you will recall me talking about a topic brought up by the gaming community. And that topic being the reasons behind why Nintendo only revealed Skyward Sword at that February Nintendo Direct. If you remember, a lot of us were expecting more Zelda games at that Nintendo Direct, especially considering just about a week before we got a lot of trademarks for different Zelda games. Now the reason a lot of people were throwing around is that it was due to marketing. What it came down to was that Nintendo didn't want to announce any other games or throw any big celebrations for Zelda because they didn't want to cannibalize the sales of Skyward Sword or pull any attention away from that game. What Samus Hunter is saying flies directly in front of that conversation. If Nintendo didn't want to release any other Zelda games, or even announce them, why would they start pulling out more Zelda games right before E3? And right before the release date of the Skyward Sword game. I mean, one would think that if Nintendo didn't want to affect the sales of Skyward Sword by releasing or announcing any other Zelda games, they wouldn't even bother announcing any Zelda games this month. And this is the reason why I'm a bit iffy on this Nintendo leaker coming out and saying that Nintendo is going to start celebrating Zelda's 35th anniversary. But let's say it is true. Nintendo is indeed going to show us some Zelda games. And these Zelda games are 
are going to appear sometime this month. This would bring up the question why? Why would Nintendo show these Zelda games now and not at E3, especially when Pokemon Snap just released, and you probably want more focus on that game than any other Zelda games. In other words, marketing for Pokemon Snap. Well, here are my thoughts on that question. Nintendo could just have a lot on their plate that they need to get out to the general public. Remember guys, Nintendo is still holding a lot back, and I think they're still holding even more back than what we're expecting. In other words, games that we don't even know about. The bug really hit Nintendo hard and made things difficult, slowing down production, interrupting development on various titles, and so on. And that's the ones that we know about. We know Nintendo is always showing up with big reveals at E3 on games that we don't even know about. Like, remember the last Nintendo Direct? We didn't know about Splatoon 3 at all. So if they can hide that game, what else are they hiding and saving for E3? Not only that, but I'm sure Breath of the Wild 2 is far enough along to have an entire section dedicated on it. So they probably want to focus on that game as well. You also have to consider the Nintendo Switch Pro as well. That is rumored for 2021, and if it's true, then it's probably going to be a holiday release. Not only that, but it's guaranteed to be revealed at E3. So that could be something in their plans as well, and a big focus for them. So maybe, just maybe, throwing a couple other plans in May instead of E3 to better focus on their time during E3 is what Nintendo is thinking. Now, of course, this is all speculation, but it really makes you think. Now, if you aren't interested in any animated series or movies that are coming from Nintendo, you can click the top right corner for a video that you may be interested in. And if not, let's move on to the second topic of this video, which personally gets me really excited as a movie fan. Now, a lot of you may or may not know this, but Nintendo is making a Super Mario movie with the minds behind Minions, Illumination Studio. Whether or not that's a good thing really remains to be seen, but this is a sign that Nintendo is dipping their toes back into the movie and TV sphere. Which really is no surprise at all considering the success of other franchises like Castlevania, Witcher 3, Sonic, and Detective Pikachu. Not only that, but streaming services have become a huge deal, so Nintendo probably wants to dip their hands into that as well. Now, in a recent interview between Fast Company and Nintendo President Shintaro Furukawa, this is what the Nintendo President has to say. Animation in general is something that we're looking into, and not just Super Mario. Now, this is a very small quote that means big things. Nintendo is looking into other ways for animation for movies for their IPs. This means we could end up getting a Zelda movie, or a Star Fox movie, or heck, you know what would be really cool? A Smash Bros movie. Imagine a giant MCU-style endgame crossover with Nintendo characters battling against Master Hand. Of course, personally, I'd like to see some build-up to that first, but I think it would be pretty cool. And you know what? I'll probably be doing a video just like the Smash Bros DLC from the comment section where I take your comment and give my thoughts on your choices. So make sure you leave your choices of games that you want to see be made into movies or TV shows, and they'll be featured in that video. But with that being said, this would be really cool to see Nintendo finally step into animation and movies with their franchises. I mean, who knows? Maybe Nintendo is having second thoughts about that Zelda animation that they were going to have for Netflix. And that is it for today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if not, leave a dislike. And if you want more news and my E3 2021 coverage, subscribe to Roborob Gaming for more gaming news. Thanks for watching, guys, and remember, stay safe, stay charged, and have a good one. Oh, and here is a cookie, since a lot of you guys really want to see the cookie at the end of the video. I'll see you guys later.